Hello, this is HG Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Golden Sun! Since last time, I made my way back to Tolby, off screen, and I want to repair one of the rings that broke. Unlike the Dragon Quest games, if you have an item that breaks from use, it's not permanent. So you, all you gotta do is just take it to a shop, weapon, or armor shop, I don't think it matters. And ha ha! Got it! So now we can just use it all over again if we wanted to. Not that any of the rings are that extraordinary, but it's there. And there's also some equipment that, or other slots of equipment that can be used to cast spells where you could do the same thing there. Oh, yeah, I was coming to watch the Colossa. Oh, or we could wait over there okay yeah we actually don't go through here taking the underground passage to the Col or colosso we need to actually go through the front door for some reason oh that's I, I don't think so i need to save my money we got stuff to buy coming up Hey, how's it going? Sure, why not? How would you guys even know? Well, in a manner of speaking, I suppose it is. Well, yeah, that's probably true. Kind of reminds me of Karate Kid 3. Well, he's not repaying us. We just want to watch the thing. What do you mean, a good match? I didn't say I was going to be participating. Oh. N uh, well, I'm not participating, though. I just wanted to watch. Yeah. Can I just sit on my ass and then do nothing? Oh. Well, yeah, I suppose we wouldn't want him angry. We wouldn't like him when he's angry. Oh. Okay. That's... But thou must! Oh. Evidently. Okay, we can kick their ass. No! Get me out of here, man! Because I don't want to die? I, I don't know. I think that would be a pretty good reason. <laughs> oh, or we could do that. Yeah, spoiler alert! We have to participate in the Colosso no matter what. Why are we going in sepia tones? Ah! Well, yeah, I suppose it is... All these guys are single combatants or something. Well, Isaac was the one talking the least, so naturally his mouth would get him into more trouble than everyone else in the party. Yeah, I guess. This is actually one of my favorite parts of the game, though. How hard could they possibly be? Um, yeah, maybe. What do you mean? I just use it like I always have. Oh, yeah, forgot about that. Oh, hey, hey all right.
Ah! What kind of special seats? Sounds like a plan. Let's go. Oh. Yeah, I suppose now that I have to participate. Yeah, we might as well take a look at the place before going through there. I'm not gonna... What is it? Well, show absolutely everything off while we're preparing. I'll do that as I go. So, let's see what we got here. In the Colosso here, we got, well, a whole bunch of these areas, separate areas for the, well, I guess it's kind of an obstacle course, really. Oh, okay, but I already have good equipment. Oh, yeah, that would be a good idea, I guess. No, no, I pretty much know what we need to do. So we got these different stages of the obstacle course here that we're going to need to get through. And they're going to let us take a look around if we really wanted to, but I don't. No, that would take a while. Okay, so first things first, let's change our setup here. I want to make Isaac into a ninja. So let's give him as much attack gin as I can. Haha! -ha, now he's a ninja there. So that'll help out his stats a lot. I also want to... Oh yeah, we don't have any equipment available for the Colosso. We have to actually pick it up as we go throughout. So you'll see when we get there. But let's see, I do want to give a few items to Ivan there. So let's see, we got the Dow Strap. I want to pass that over to him. Let's see. Okay, I need the Halt Gem. Let's give that to you. And let's see, the Orb of Force. So that's going to be the setup I'm going to be using there. Everyone else, I think, is good to go. Okay, so now what we got here are these different stages of the obstacle course and if you talk to them and you say yes you can get a description and they'll show you how you're supposed to go through the obstacle course now you can choose one of your party members to participate in a stage of the obstacle course if you have them cheer for you here in this case i want garrett so that way he can use his synergy to move one of the objects around and make it easier for Isaac to actually get through it. And since no one can see the synergy but adepts, no one's gonna know anything up that anything is really going on there. So let's see. For this one, let's give Ivan or yeah, drop off Ivan there. And let's see, for the third one, let's go with Mia. So they explain how some of the obstacles work. But yeah, it's nothing extraordinary. And yeah, there's a fourth stage, but I'm not really worried about that. I don't I don't think we can get an advantage by having someone cheer for me in that one. Maybe I'm thinking of something else, but yeah, yeah, we're all good. So, do we go? Well, let's talk to some of the other people around here. Hey, how's it going? Um. Hey, how's it going? Um. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah. Well, don't underestimate me. I don't have a color palette or a generic character sprite. Oh, yeah, I suppose I am. But I want to talk to people first. 
Oh yeah, I forgot. You guys are all former Colossal winners, huh? Oh, yeah, that's me. Oh, well, good luck to you, I guess. Where are we, anyway? I mean, I know this is like a waiting room or something. Oh, well, maybe. Who's Decca? Is he a Decca Ranger? No, nah. no, nah, they're not in this game. Well, yeah, that's why they're the finals. Oh, well, good for you. Yeah, we might want to get this going. Okay, so just move into the a circle there. Boom, we're ready to go. Let's get it on. Well, I got in my spot. If... The other three could get into their circles. That would be helpful. Oh, Isaac, yeah, get moving. Okay, so now, once we've gotten the round ready to go, now we can help Isaac out here. So this is why I put Garrett in there. So that way he could move that pillar there because you might notice in the upper left there's a pillar there what you're supposed to do is push that pillar around till you get down till you push it down below and then you could hop over there but if you do that with garrett it's a, li a lot quicker because you don't have to push them around and what i want to do here is douse this i don't know what that thing is some kind of container that lowers that raises the other one up so that we don't have to push that pipe over in order to proceed with the area there. Now with Mia, you got if you've got some Venus Gin on her, then she can cast Growth on this. And that'll allow me to skip the Gutsman gaps in the bridges there. Alright, let's get going. So what we gotta do is not only just get through the obstacle course, but there's going to be a battle at the end. So it kind of combines some very minor puzzle solving and actual combat as well. So it's not just your stats or equipment that's going to make the difference and everything. Fortunately, with the help from my other party members, you can get through this very, very quickly. Now, I would like to be able to get that treasure down there. You might have seen that. And since I have such a lead, I can afford to go over there and grab that. So, yeah, just move all those square logs around. Hmm, reminds me of MXC a little bit. Haha! -ha! Wow, I barely made it in time. Or not. Okay, I guess that guy's still jacking around. But yeah, basically, you get to the end here more quickly than your opponent. You get a slightly better piece of equipment, and your opponent will have a little bit less stats. For boss time against Azart. Okay, so, let's see. First things first, let's go with Death Plunge. Maybe we might be able to stun the guy. Launch him into the air. Hmm, reminds me of another game. So yeah, I'm just going to keep on going with Death Plunge for now. Don't worry about your HP or SP. They will get automatically refilled between rounds. Mostly I'm just using the Ninja Jab class for the stats. I don't even care about Death Plunge. It just happens to be the ability that works best for me here. All right. And you might have noticed we don't get experience from the battles at the end of each round. So, yeah, there's no point in going for gin kills. You don't need to really buff up or anything like that. The battles are really vanilla. But alright. 
All right, so let's see. Round two gets a little trickier with distributing the party members around. Right, right. Oh, thank you. Okay, so let's see. For this one... Yeah, we're going to be going from right to left this time. So let's see. For this one, I want Garrett. Now let's see. I could drop someone off he at the second stage here, but I think you're better off just dropping or leaving that one empty. There's five stages for this one. You're not going to be able to... Oh! No, I didn't mean to go through that. Well, this is what you're supposed to do to get through the place. Okay. But yes, okay, let's see. For this one, I want Mia to help out there. You might have noticed a couple little puddles there, and you could freeze those with Mia there. And let's see, for this one... No, no, I think we're good. But I do want Ivan to help out with this one. Let's see. I don't think I can have someone help me out in the fourth stage there. I could be wrong on that. I don't have these entirely memorized. I've only played the game a couple times. But I like to think I know what I'm doing. I mean, I do have my setups and all that planned out in advance. Okay, so for this one, let's see. I want to move this one to the left there. You can also move the one on the right to the left, but it's not as useful. And you can only use your synergy once, so make it count. Now for this one, I want to use force, so that way that knocks this thing over, and I can climb down those, well, whatever those things are on the wall there, and that'll let me bypass a lot of that one. Now let's see, with this one, if I freeze that one that's not really going to help out so what I want to do oh yeah let's remove our gin there and freeze this one instead so I can take the log over to the left there and then just hop over the ice pillar there and we'll be good to go this one's a little closer than the first one, but it's still relatively easy to get through here. And we got plenty of time to grab some treasure along the way. We don't have any of our consumable items with us, so take what you can get. Let's see, is there a treasure up there? No. Okay, let's see. With this one now, let's see. I want to pull that one to me, so let's grab that. Yeah, you could use growth in this one, but I don't think that's a huge advantage because you're still going to be climbing the walls, and that's always very slow. Now, you see the little inlets in the upper left there? Remember where those drop you to so you don't screw up. Go in the middle, boom, hooray! Okay, so now, let's see, let's get that out of the way. And can I get down there? Good, good. So yeah, normally you gotta move all those, or roll all those logs around. But yeah, I don't have to. And I get a superior piece of armor. For boss time against Satrage, Satraj. I don't know how you pronounce the guy's name, whatever. Just death plunge him. Ha ha. I don't think I'm even going to run out of synergy before the, before I kill him. Yeah, you might as well keep on going with Death Plunge. Even though he's already stunned, I could somewhat reset the timer on it, or however that works exactly. Haha! -ha, gotcha. You might have noticed I also had full synergy going into that round as well. Hey, all right. By the way, you don't actually have to win the whole Colosso. You could just lose and then move on, I guess. I guess if you're a speedrunning 
you'd want to do that and just move on. But, if you do win, there's an event in the second game that gets in influenced by this. And you can get a, if I recall correctly, you can get a pretty decent reward out of it, too. So, you might as well win it. And that'll be useful for us. Alright, sounds like a plan. But can Isaac win all of Colossal in the final round? Find out next time on Let's Play Golden Sun. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.